Hello YouTube. I'm gonna make a video right now. Um, I picked up this tractor up in uh, Pennsylvania. It has to be delivered in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So when I got there, I told the shipper that I wanted the tractor all the way to the back with the arm to the front. He told me where well, everybody takes it with the arm to the back. Well, the RGN I got is not really for like these kind of types of tractors, right? I mean, every RGN you could do what you could do miracles with it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to turn this whole thing around, put the arm to the front, and move the tractor to the back because it, my permits are wrong. Being that I have to drive through Oklahoma. They're asking for my drive axles to be under 40,000 pounds. Right now I have 44,000 pounds on them. So I'm gonna move the whole tractor to the back and I have to flip the arm up top. I have to flip the arm on top to, to the other side because I have no more clearance room here. So that, that piece there is going to be near the top deck. Alright, because uh, up there is like about 11 and a half feet. On top of that uh, driver's seat is 12 feet. So if I pick up that arm any much more, that's still not the point of what I want to do. I'm still going to have to move it. So, if I move, if I pick it up and move it back, I'm having to lift up this arm three feet up in the air. And that's going to be three feet a lot higher over there. So, I want to lay this piece, this claw, on the bed just about the same way it is, right? So it's gonna have to be like right here. So that bit, the claw is about right here up in the front. That will leave this thing about where it's at right now, but I'm saying like about three feet back more. Here. So my idea is to turn this thing on the trailer without having to get it down. And what I did with that is I'm going to leave these chains that I anchored this bottom piece down. I'm not going to move it yet. So I'm, it's going to stay anchored. I lower down all the air from the bags. And I will be slowly... What the hell happened here? This thing just opened? That thing opened by itself. I don't even know how to close it. That's not good. Okay. I have to... I'm, when it's anchored now, I'll be able to move it. And once I turn it... Yes, it's going to be, like, way up here, but I don't want to unanchor it. I don't want to take all the chains and try to twist it while it's not anchored. So I'll twist it now. It'll be up here in the top. Once I, I have it twisted, then I can unanchor it, move it to the back, and place the claw up here how it should be. So all I got is one more chain before I can start twisting it. It's gonna be fun. You guys stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I already had to do this one time at a different pilot on the way over here. Um, I had to, uh, that claw up there was sticking out a couple inches. And I had a sticking out on the side of, the, of, the, of my trailer a couple of inches so what I did what I did was uh, fixed it I, I, I moved, I turned it on I had to twist it watch this stuff give it a second time I'm having it move it alright 
go inside the cab. Let's uh, make sure all the chains are loose. This chain right here, I need to move it. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna release these chains. These chains should get released when I start twisting it. Everything else is anchored. Everything looks good. Uh, right here, you don't need look. One guy's, one guy's once said that, uh, oh, this guy don't have experience. Why did you guys send him? I don't have experience. I have three months, but I have a lot of common sense. And, and, and you know what? I'm scared of dying, so. That, 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 that puts me up there to be careful all the time. Okay, the tractor is now on. Very pretty tractor, by the way. Well, I should be fast about this. Let it warm up a little bit. It's kind of cold over here in uh, St. Louis. Little noise. He gave me a little rundown on how to move it. If not, I'm gonna probably have to cut this video short, call him up, and see how, what I need to do to get it moving. For now, um, keys right there. It's already on. There's a kill switch on the other side. Of that thing over there. Uh, this is the gas. Just let it warm up with a little bit of gas. Um, what you're gonna want to do is, first of all, I would suggest, since I'm not driving it yet, I could leave this the way it is. And then once it's ready to go, once it's ready to go, what you want to do is put this lever, this red lever down, hangs right there. Oh, I guess I should do it now. Comes down like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower down the the gas because I don't want I don't want no gas. That's the gas knob right there. Little engine thing. That's the gas. Okay, so there's this thing over here that you kind of you tell the tractor that. Well, that part's supposed to be on, and you know what? It's not. It's not showing that I'm on park anymore because maybe I switched this. No, still not. Before that little light was on, but now it's not on. So, all right. So then after that, what we're gonna do is, since the chains are nice and tight, I'm gonna loosen up the chains first. Let's move this out the way. Well, the steering wheel out the way so we can see what we're doing out there. So we're going to use this lever on the right to move the boom, the big large boom. We're just going to kind of pick it up. Boom. There you hear it. Kind of lift it up a little bit. Just, I had a... I had a... 4x4 four four holding it. It's scary though, man. It feels like the whole thing is moving. Okay, anyways. Um, the chains are still look tight. So what I'm going to do, I, ha I have one of the chains hooked up to the the legs down there that, that stiffens up the... the that kind of keeps the tractor from tilting. And then the other chain is over there on the back of the trailer. So what I do, I want to loosen them up. So then you use the one on the left. And you're gonna turn, you're gonna move the knob this way, and very slowly because I tell you, man, it it jukes. So very slowly, we're gonna loosen up the chains. I think that would have probably worked. If not, I'm just gonna loop. And like, there's a lot of traffic right now. So I'm thinking to myself, am I gonna hit somebody? Right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. 
and uh, gotta jump down now. <laughs> jump down. Let's get these chains loosened up. I will have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I wanna release them. Take them apart. This guy over here will come off much easier now. Stay out here though. Take one of these flags that come off right. Stay right here while I'm while I'm turning it around. Make sure nobody comes through here. Take off one of those flags. This red handle back down. This thing is needs to be lifted up. There it goes. Let's pick this arm up. All right, everything's shaking. But you know what? If I don't do this now, then forever hold your peace. So let's move it slowly. Am I gonna hit the chain? I am? Now I hit the floor. I know. Am I off the floor? Am I off the floor?
I think I'm gonna turn it the other way. No, but the water's over there. What if I fall in the water? I'm gonna fall anyways, right? But then the trucks are not in the way. Yeah, let me go the other way. Am I gonna hit anything in the back? All right, here it goes. Am I gonna hit the chain? No. Am I gonna hit the leg? No. It looks like I'm getting too close to the chain. How about now? No. I'm further away? Yes. All right, I'm turning. Nah. Check if I'm gonna hit. No, follow, follow it. Don't worry about that side anymore. Oh, Jessica, you you better off staying on this side. Stay on, stay on the other side. Come back over here. Cause this tail is sticking out, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everything looks good. Here. Come up to the front. Careful, my love. Keep filming me.
Yes. Thank you. 